Hello and welcome to my channel, to all of you that are watching my videos. Um, today we are going to talk about Cummings IS6 or Cummings X15. And uh, the specific topic will be watering oil or cooling in oil. Uh, that is something very common that happens to most engines regardless of the brand and regardless of the year. But in this case we're going to focus on Cummings uh, IS6 and Cummings X15. Um, it, uh, I don't know if you are familiar on what the problem is, uh, watering oil or cooling in oil. The problem is then the fluid coolant or, or water goes in the uh, oil, uh, the lubrication system, which is the oil pan, and it starts, you know, like a mix, uh, mixing together and, and you get at the end some kind of like a white kind of like looking uh, uh, mixture of with oil and water. And that is really bad for your engine. Um, so uh, uh, to uh, to give you a heads up, uh, we want to talk about like how to identify this problem and what to do if you find it. Uh, the this problem happens at any time. I've seen engines with six hundred thousand miles, and they and they have cooling in oil, and I have seen engines with three hundred thousand miles with the same problem. So. You know, like it varies, so there's no specific number I can give you. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, uh, so if you have watering oil, what will be the uh, the things to check? I mean, like how will you be sure then if you have watering oil? I mean, uh, it is not just like uh, you're gonna go to the shop all of a sudden and the mechanic is gonna tell you, oh, you know what, uh, you have watering oil, right? And you don't know right you you have no idea so i will tell you this uh in this video we're gonna discuss that where and how you have to focus how this, the components you have to in space investigate to double check then you have water in the oil or cooling in the oil so the first thing is like you have to open the uh, the um oil cap the oil filler cap if you open that and you find some kind of like a uh uh, marks any type of uh, wet marks or if you find stains like water stains that's not a big deal but if you find water or coolant like fluid in the cup that's that's bad so that that kind of gives you the uh, the warning then it's possible the your engine is bad another thing that you have to do is pull the oil lever dipstick and once you pull it out uh, you are going to see if there is any type of you know mixture of, of water and oil you want to find this kind of like a, uh, a gel looking uh, material that is stick to the to the uh, to the dip stick in there and then if you find that it's possible then you have water in coolant and, uh, and, and it's very sure that you have it but to double check completely and to be uh, completely sure then you have that there is two components then you have to check um, uh, you have to check the crankcase ventilation housing you open it if you have fluid there coolant water your engine is bad and also if you open the valve cover and if you have water or coolant in any form your engine is bad. Now, you are sure that you have coolant in oil, water in oil, uh, and yeah, you have a problem. Um, the question will be from where this is happening, from where the water or the coolant is going to the lubrication system, to the oil pan. So that will require a different process. So if you want to investigate what is the issue, uh, the first thing you have to do and the easiest thing to do will be to remove the oil pan. You remove the oil deposit completely um, and then you apply pressure to the cooling system. Um, and once you apply pressure to the cooling system, if the leak is very, very large, it's going to leak immediately. If the leak is small, it's just gonna leak a small drop every a minute, every three seconds, every five seconds, every ten seconds, depending on how bad it is. But if the leak is tiny, very tiny, it's 
that is just going to happen when you are um, when you are um, driving the truck when the truck is on high temperatures. So um, if uh, if the coolant if the coolant leak is very very small, you won't notice it. Um, and I have seen problems like that. Like, uh, you won't notice it immediately. The truck has to dry. It needs to apply pressure to the system and pressure to the cylinders and everything, and then it's gonna start leaking. But most likely, then it's not gonna be that easy. It's not gonna be that uh, a simple to find it. Um, uh, the components that are exposed to give you this kind of problems, I wanna list them, and those are the cylinder liners, the cylinder liner seals, cylinder liner seat, which is the engine block, cylinder gasket head, the head itself will be cracked, and also it can be a damage or a broken cylinder block. Sometimes happens, you know. So uh, all these components can be the reason why you have watering oil, uh, but uh, you have to check manually where this water is coming from. Most likely, the very common reason why water mixes with oil on Cummins X15s it is cylinder liners and cylinder heads. Most of the time, the cylinder liners break and start leaking coolant. Most of the time, the cylinder itself just start like lowering their height to the cylinder block and they start leaking coolant as well. And the cylinder gasket as well. So um, uh, it happens like that, like cylinder head gasket is also go bad. So uh, it's, more, it's very common to find this problem. So uh, the easy solution to this uh, situation is to do a full engine overhaul, which is not easy because it's very expensive. It's over $20,000 anyway, but uh, it will be the uh, solution to fix watering oil. Most of the time, this is the reason why uh, watering oil happens. The internal components, cylinder liners, uh, cylinder uh, seals, and cylinder head gaskets are the ones that go bad and start like letting the coolant to the oil system, lubrication system. But remember then, uh, whatever I'm saying in this video doesn't mean that that is what you have on your truck. So uh, that's the reason why I said if you have problems with your truck, you need to investigate yourself or you can bring it to the shop here. Uh, you can contact me or you can look, uh, look on Google, uh, CCF Services, 8215 Beach Avenue, and you can find me here if you want me to investigate what is the problem with your truck. Um, of course, uh, this means then uh, we are going to apply some labor to it and will be some charge anyway, but we want to be sure then that is your problem. Um, and by, by, by experience, most of the trucks that I work on that have cooling in oil, most of the times uh, the engine overhaul needs to be done to be uh, 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 to be sure then this is completely okay. So full overhaul and that problem goes away. But if you cannot afford a full overhaul, uh, that will be hard. I will just suggest that if you are not capable to do a full engine overhaul and your engine is having that problem and you decide to pack the truck because you don't have the money to pay it, uh, just be sure to drain all the fluid, all, all the water and all the oil and add new oil uh, don't add water because the water is continuous on going uh, constantly going inside the engine so if the water con continues on going inside the engine all the components inside the engines are going to go completely rusted and if that happens your engine is going to be completely dead if you park it for one day i mean no, for one month to one year so that will be bad so if you don't have no money for that, you'll be sure to drain all the fluid because it's going to be bad if you don't do it. And then your engine is going to be completely dead and you will have to replace the whole engine. But as it is, uh, this is all I have for you um, uh, as a topic. Uh, watering oil for Cummins X15 ISX. 
Um, uh, it changes depending on the year, what's the components that go bad, but mostly cylinder head, uh, uh, cylinder seals, the seat of the cylinder uh, engine block, and the uh, uh, cylinder head gasket that will go bad. Which one go bad? As I, as I say, one of those four go bad, so it varies depending on the year. Um, uh, just be double check everything before you do any type of repair so that way you don't uh, do uh, unnecessary repair and spend money for no reason. As I said before, you want to come to the shop, 8215 Beach Avenue, this is the shop, CC Office Services. Just be sure to bring some time with you because most of the time we are busy. And um, if you like this video, just be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Uh, like the video, share it, and uh, follow me on Instagram at Francisco Maya YouTube. And thank you for watching.